So hi everyone, I'm here with Hanusel from Team Dinitas, who just won uh, his very important game uh, today with a very, very huge score. We're going to get back on that. But first of all, you had a little, um, I'm not going to say trouble in the, the preparation for the, for the event, but one of your teammate, ex-teammate Shabai lived to join another team and you had to choose Kajan B from Astralis. How did the things uh, go? How did you, uh, I don't know how to say that, how did you choose the, the last player and how did the things go with Chabai? Uh, it went pretty smoothly, I would say. We After we won the minor, he told me that he got the offer and that they wanted him. So we were just talking in the team and there was no doubt that we wanted the Cajun B. So yeah, it went pretty smooth. After three days, we had Cajun B and we began pre prepare for every tournament. Did you boot camp or did you something in this? There was a really short time to prepare for the event. Uh, we prepared. Uh, we boot camp before a major qualifier uh, and went to major qualifier and E League, and then we went home and practiced online instead of boot camp because it would be too much. So we played a lot online, uh, but no bootcamp. When you came at this event, were you confident knowing your first game was against Astralis and uh, there was a swap player between the, between the two teams? Uh, how did you, what was the spirit when you came in the first game? The spirit was good. We, uh, we felt like it was a 50-50 game uh, because they have a stand-in and they didn't have much time to prepare. Um, yeah, but uh, we we felt like we could win against them, but we lost some stupid rounds and uh, was not on point. So, yeah, you lost 16-12, uh, something like that. I remember it was a close game, and today you had a very very important game to stay in the competition. It was against CLG, and we heard Kajan saying uh, it was off record, but he was saying, hey. I thought, thought it's going to be harder uh, to to play against uh, CLG. He didn't thought that, that you're going to win like 16-1. It was <laughs> it was like a stomp. And um, uh, did you did you have the same feeling before the game? Uh, not really. I felt like uh, we should win every time against CLG. Uh, but it dep it depended much on the map. We started T on Cobble, and we have a really strong T side always. So. Yeah, I felt really confident and I think the teammates did as well. And we just came in really hot and Robinho was, yeah. he did it again. It was the same against uh, Tai Lu and he did it again. So I'm really happy for him. It's a new record. Robinho had now the, the new record in the major event for uh, the Def, uh, Def Kia uh, Russia. Yeah. It's, it's very huge. Yeah, it's sick. <laughs> and now you're going to have a best of three. Versus Astralis, it's a rematch, but on free map now, or two map, or free map, I, I, I don't know yet. Uh, I, I was, uh, how, how do you feel about that? Uh, did you talk about it? Is it too soon? Uh, how are you going to prepare for this game? Uh, we talked about it, and it's going to be an epic match, I think. Uh, we are fighting for the last spot, and I think th the best way to go to a playoff is to beat the uh, Astralis first, that would be so huge. So, yeah, I just hope we can do it. Uh, we are, I think we have a good chance in a best of three because they haven't, they had five days of practice. So I don't think they are ready on so many maps. Like, uh, so I can, I think we can take advantage of that. We we'll see that tomorrow. Uh, this is um, a little, in, in France, we got two top teams, which uh, are G2 and Envious. And uh, as for us and you, are the two top Dan Danish team. Is there like a rivalry or, a rivalry or something? Uh, I don't know. Is it special to play against Danish team? Yeah, it's really special. You know, you're friends with them. And uh, yeah, it's just special. You want to beat them so bad that there's no way around it. Yeah, it's a rivalry for sure. Well, we'll see tomorrow who's going to be the Danish, because uh, th there'll be a Danish team anyway in the, in the quarterfinals, so it's, 
kind of kind of good for, uh, for for the Danish supporters. But we'll find tomorrow which uh, which team is going to be. Well, I'm going to thank you for uh, for this interview. Maybe if you want to say anything last last words, thanks your your mates, your your sponsor, or anything. Yeah, thanks to Team Dignitas for always supporting us, and uh, thanks to our fans who will cheer for us. Well, very well played today, one, one more time, and I uh, wish you good luck for the rest of the tournament. Thanks. thanks.